So with all of your success, what's one thing that you could say, drop some knowledge for us, how do we get a little bit of success like you? Um, my daughter's at SC Film School. I have another daughter going to NYU Film School. Go to school. Okay. Honestly, I think that it's, it's something that people are forgetting. Because when we, I was coming up, like, you know, people grow, degree now, it's like everyone gets it overnight. Go to school because going to, going to school will make you remember is that the best way that you can be successful, at least as a writer, is planning. And everyone wants to start saying fade in and start writing, but that's not how you write. How you write is you plan, you beat sheet, you outline, you do all that work first. And that's the hard part because you want to just, you see on TV people sit down and write script, but when you go to school, you learn it's all about planning. And you, it's a foundation. You have to like build your foundation. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Because success doesn't just happen overnight. Like you have to work for it. It's not just, you know, what you see on the internet and stuff. So, yeah. You taught her well. <laughs> She's teaching me every day. I love that. So Blackish, you have the franchise Mixed Dish. Why Mixed Dish now? Um, we are in a situation where we've had a biracial president. We have a biracial princess. We have a biracial best golfer in the world. We have a, you know, a biracial. That story is about to be, to be obsolete, and it's such a ubiquitous part of the world we live in, and no one's talked about that story. My, their mom you know, is biracial. You know, I'm sure, you know, a huge part, you know, I feel like that story has not really been told, and it's still a new story, and I'd like to sort of talk about what that must have been like for those people. I love that. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.